Our 4x4 truck's all finished. Almost forgot. Yeah, buddy. Let's pop this baby out. Hello everyone, welcome back to Victory Gaming, playing 7 Days to Die, JT and Me series. So we're the day after the Blood Moon Horde, day 78 right now. We did really well. The new base design is working out. Uh, still got some holes to patch, uh, upgrades to do. But I think this design is going to work out, at least for, for now. Uh, this is all the loot we got right here. A lot of nice things to sell. A lot of SWAT helmets. Uh, but the best thing, I think, is the Quality 6 Magnum 44. And we have a bunch of, like, parts to sell. We've got some cash monies. Just some, some random food cans and things. Uh, a shirt. <laughs> Puffer coat. I guess we could use that if we ever find a snow biome. Just a lot of stuff really just to sell. Um, oh, we got some shotguns. So I'm going to scrap these. There's three of them for more turrets. Uh, the problem I think right now is that I'm trying to use SMG turrets. And those use a lot of brass. Whereas the buckshot is just lead and paper for the shotgun turrets. So that's super easy for me right now to do. Because I have basically unlimited paper, unlimited uh, gunpowder, and unlimited lead. Because you can just go mine that. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Probably going to switch out those two turrets for shotgun turrets. Just have shotgun turrets everywhere. Just make tons and tons of those things. And then... Uh, we'll make all our monies from all this stuff, whatever we have left over. We already have it over 8,000. I think there was like 1,100 actually from the kills as well, from all the loot. But we're definitely going to keep the Magnum. It's the first Magnums I think I've gotten in the game all in one Horde Night. Um, also want to give you guys an update. Uh, let's see, what else? Over the last, you know, couple weeks, I've just been doing the Blood Moon Hordes. It's been really hectic uh, getting the base up to snuff for the for all those zombies. But I just now completed the 4x4 Jeep. I haven't put it together yet, though. I have all the parts. I bought, I believe, the chassis from Trader Wrecked. That was a pretty decent amount of money. I think it was like 11000 when I used my, uh, what do you call it, elixir, whatever it was. It was reduces the cost. Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, yeah. I drank one of those bad boys. It reduced the price quite a bit, and I was able to afford it. Uh, where is it? Where did I put that? I got all the parts. Oh, here they are. Okay, so we have the truck... Okay, I guess it calls it a truck, but it's, it's more like a Jeep to me. So we have all the parts. We have an engine, battery, and the four tires. Just type 4x4. Four four. And then crafting only takes two and a half minutes. Boom, we got it. Because the only thing I couldn't do was the chassis, and I found that to buy. We already were able to put it together, and we had the accessory ability to craft that as well so now we're gonna have a nice big truck or jeep uh, i just crafted me a new machine gun i was going to compare the damage because every time you craft now it is a random you know damage and magazine size and things on these i maybe even range and durability as well so now we have a second m60 quality five and it can't hurt to have two i mean you know, one gets uh, broken, no durability, you can just swap it to the next one, and you know, if you're in a tough situation. So it could be a good thing. Just for that. Uh, let's see here. Let's scrap these. So we're getting three or four. Wait, 
What did I do? Scrap. There we go. I think I might hit repair. Okay, so we got ten more parts for that. It takes three per. Okay, perfect. We got enough for four more turrets. Shotgun turret. Yeah, each one is three. So just gotta craft motion sensors, have oil, polymers, forged steel, which is all easy. So we'll just hang on to that, keep that in here. Oh, I could also scrap this, technically. Let's go ahead and do that. I really don't need it, because I have a uh, quality six pump shotgun. Uh, if you haven't heard in the last episode, I don't know if it might have been too loud to hear me, but I did find this when I was going around wrenching cars. So that was a pretty good find. Let's see, what do we get out of this? Three more? Okay, that's a whole nother shotgun turret. And stick that in there. So that's five more turrets we can make. Actually, I think we can stick this model on the shotgun. Sweet. Okay, we got that all modded out. In case we get, you know, radiated zombies, we got that. So the shotgun, that's going to be like my main clear weapon if I go in POIs. And I also have the pistol as a backup. Also good for sniping because we got the silencer. Uh, I just recently found out that motor, or engines, I mean, scrap, which I never even paid attention to this, for 30 mechanical parts. And I'm always on the lookout for mechanical parts. That's, that's going to be a huge help. I already have uh, two generators with six engines apiece. So we got plenty of engines. We find them all the time. Uh, right now we have enough power. I might want to make a third generator, so I'll probably keep these six engines for that. Uh, we always, you know, want to make sure we have enough power to survive the Horde night. Let's see, I've been, you know, making a lot of duct tape. I've got more than enough scrap polymers. See, I got all this gunpowder. We just need to go dig up the lead. I got all this paper from the paper plant. Now, what's the ratio on shotgun ammo? Shotgun. Okay, it takes one and one. So one buckshot, one paper, and four gunpowder. So yeah, it's super easy to make. So we have enough for 2,500, 2,900 rounds of shotgun shells right here. So obviously we want to find uh, more paper plants. They do to like a small building. So now that I do really know what they look like, it should be easier to find. Look like this little building here. Um, I haven't really been to a lot of the other towns I explore. This has been the main town we've been running through. There is one up north. There's one out to the east. So the one to the north, I've actually, you know, I've been around it a little bit. I just don't really remember, to be honest. Uh, the one to the east, that's where I found a parking garage with a ton of cars under it. I think maybe it was this one. I don't know. It was one of these. And that was when I got most of my parts for this week. And then down here, I saw a city, but I've never actually been to it. I believe it was like desert still. And then down here, I've been to, and it was like the, uh, you know, the Deadlands or Burnt Lands. So I've been to, you know, a lot of different cities, travel around a lot. Uh, the truck will give me, I think, an extra row of storage. So that'll be nice for more storage space when we're on the run, going to town to town. Um, I did add a third chem station. Uh, we're still having the ones mixer, two workbenches. And I did add two more forges. I don't know if I've mentioned that in the previous video. But we were at a, all, you know, base materials like iron, uh, lead, things like that. We need to go and get, well, I guess we have a little bit of lead. But this one's the one I'm, I'm doing all my bullets in. So when I do a bullet... We can make some tips. Okay, we can make 400. So that'll be, you know, right now, I guess, 762 ammo. Because I really, I don't really need 9mm for anything. On Horde Nights, I'm using my M60 and the pump shotgun for clearing POIs. And the turrets, obviously, are going to be shotguns as well. That I'm going to take out those two SMGs because this eats up way too much ammo. It's too much brass. Uh, I did do uh, a lot of the repairing of the damage of the base. I do obviously have some blocks to replace. I got plenty of concrete, more concrete than I could ever use. 
Uh, we got more than enough food. I'll never run out. I got lots and lots of beers I've been buying up just because, you know, why not? I might need them for, like, some tough POIs. And we got, you know, flowers to make the pure mineral water with the murky water and some coal. So we're, we're good on pretty much everything. I've been keeping, like, all the med kits. I think I can even make med kits. Yeah, we can make med kits. So super easy. You know, sewing kits are a little bit of a pain because they aren't craftable. You can only find them. We only have 12. I did upgrade my... What was it? My helmet. I crafted a quality 5 helmet. And also, I was I realized that these are only one armor. Armor plating mod. And then the... See, I'm going to go back. Um, the mod on here is two armor. It's called a bandit armor plating mod. So what I need to do is I need to craft one, two, three, and possibly four once I upgrade this to a quality five. But can we make it? Where is it? Banded armor plating mod. Yes, we can. Okay. So we can actually craft these. So right now, I think I can add three armor, I guess. Let's see. One, two... Three, yeah, three armor. I think, you know, we'll be doing okay this week. Enough to where I can hit some POIs or at least go out to explore some buildings to try to get some, uh, you know, nice goodies. I'm probably going to spend tonight mining, getting materials for my shotgun shells, which is basically lead. Um, what else are we going to do? I got plenty of gunpowder. Oh, we got... Our 4x4 truck's all finished. Almost forgot. Yeah, buddy. Let's pop this baby out. Bam. So let's compare it. Alright, this has four rows. Trader Joel's is now closed. Four rows of nine. Oh, wow. Did they make changes to this? One, two, three, four, five, seven, nine rows of nine? Wow. Okay, this is a huge upgrade. I didn't realize that. Sweet. This is good news. Let's fill her up. Oh, man, this thing holds a lot of gas, too. All right. Throw that in there. Actually, we need some gas on us for... Digging out with the auger and chopping trees with the chainsaw. But yeah, this is going to be our new ride. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and end the video here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Let you guys know what's going on in the game. We're still going pretty strong. Uh, the rules are, as of right now, if I die during a non-Blood Moon Horde day, that's the end of the series. So wish me luck when I'm clearing those POIs. And then on the Blood Moon Horde nights, if I die, that means we increase the difficulty. Looks pretty cool with those spikes. I think those chains and stuff. <laughs> pretty sweet ride. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, too, though.